Today we are tasting beer from green bottles and ranking them. Let's see what happens. Five beers to pair with a special beer that Treehouse just released today. I'm gonna to take notes today to hopefully make the video a little bit shorter for you. If you're not subscribed to the channel, we have many more of these tastings lined up and subscribing will help you make sure you don't miss anything. So, sample number one. Nice, a little bit sweet. Mild hop character. Moving on to sample number two. The reason we have these guys in black glasses is because by seeing the beer, sometimes it can influence my perception. So the black glasses make it really difficult and make me rely entirely on my palate without any bias whatsoever. This is gonna be tough. Sample number two, sweet, mild hop, a little bit of apple. Sample number two, very, very similar to sample number one. The only thing I get on the, on the end there is a fair amount more perceived sweetness on the finish, but all things considered, it reminds me quite a bit of sample number one. Moving on to sample number three. Uh, sample number three has got a little bit more hop character going on. So a little bit dry, more hop. Sample number four. Ooh, oh, okay. That guy is really nicely hop forward. Nice bite there on the finish, smooth texture. That one hit me really nicely, sample number four. Moving on to number five. Okay, sweet, mild hop, a little bit of apple. Very similar to samples number one and samples number two. I should mention that we're actually standing on the cellar platform here at Treehouse and all these wonderful tanks are full of our delicious beers right behind us. And you may or may not be able to hear this on the video, but below me, the guys are currently working. You can hear the sound of tri-clamps, beer moving around the brewery. This is just a really cool environment for us to make a video in. Moving on to sample number six. Okay. One of the criticisms of green bottles is that they are not as good at blocking the light as cans or amber bottles, for example. So green bottles often will give you that light struck character, that skunkiness. And so far, sample number six is actually the only one of these that has that character. I will also say that number six was pretty dry. So samples one and two had a good amount of sweetness to them. For me, not hyper crisp, so they might get a little bit cloying and difficult to drink if you have several or more than one, two, or three, it might become a little bit tiresome. Whereas again, even though sample number six is light struck, it struck me as very drinkable and dry. That's just a first impression. I will say the little notebook has been really helpful to me. I, I am gonna go back and taste them again, but I've been able to form a much stronger impression in terms of what I think and how I think these guys are going to rank. Let's just go through one more time and see if I can pick out any subtle differences now that these guys have all had a chance to warm up. A little bit of light struck on number one, LS. Yeah, it definitely has a little bit more sweetness going on. A little bit different, but similar hopping construct and texture as samples number one, two, and five. Wow, this guy hits me as really watery. I, on the first pass through, I thought that I was gonna like this one more, but I would almost want the sweeter, richer, better tasting beer than the one that I could drink more of because this flavor profile in sample number six really fell flat for me. I think I'm ready to rank them. And I, again, thanks to the little notepad, I think I have really strong tasting notes and impressions on all of these guys. Uh, for me, I love Czech Saws. I love a hop forward beer. Sample number four is absolutely delightful for me. Uh, it has all those wonderful smooth lager characteristics and it has a wonderful expressive hop character that I really, really love. Uh, sample number three is my second favorite. Similar attributes to number four, kind of a little bit of a hop forward characteristic, not as much of that sweetness that I got in samples one, two, and five, and I liked sample number three as my number two. 
for my, my number three in this sampling, I, I want to pick numbers one, two, and five. They share shocking similarities. If you handed me one blindfolded, which essentially we're doing in this tasting, it would be hard to tell them apart. Uh, definitely sample number two has a fair amount more perceived sweetness, but they have such similarities that for me, I, I, I'm grouping them all together as my third favorite in this particular tasting. And then my least favorite on the second pass through was sample number six. I just thought of all these, it was the least complex, kind of the weakest all around, and not something that I would want to drink a lot of because it's just uninteresting to me. I'm not going to attempt to guess which one is which. I'm just going to ask Michael what I'm drinking in, in what order. My, this is my least favorite. Rolling Rock. Rolling Rock. OK. Next one is Moosehead Lager. Moosehead Lager. OK. Cool. Okay. I want to know what the other two that I thought were like Moosehead Lager. Number one is Stella. Stella, nice. Number two is Yingling. Yingling. Next one over is Heineken. Heineken. Heineken was really nice in this sampling. And the last one is yeah. Burrell. Yeah. Which I, I'll be honest, I knew. At first, I suspected that maybe sample number three may have been Perel because it had a nice expressive hop character, nicely dry, and quite frankly, if we were making a drinkable lager, which we tried to do with Perel, and we achieved that, I would be super happy. And again, I suspected that it was Perel, and if I'm to be a thousand percent honest with our viewers, I have not tasted Perel yet out of the bottle. I had it in the bright tank about two weeks ago as it was conditioning. So I have no notion of what it tasted like finished and in the bottle until this very moment. And I'm super happy with the way that it turned out. All right, guys, this is, this is fun. We, uh, we're playing with the format. We're playing with the location. Your feedback is awesome. Liking the video and leaving us your comments below is a huge help to us. We're trying to entertain you, keep you informed and trying to celebrate this beverage that we love so much. I wanna thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time.